Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to your daily dose of zombies news from the game and community here on God Zombies HQ. If you do enjoy today's video, be sure to smash that thumbs up button down below and subscribe to the channel if you're not already. You guys freaking killed it once again, dropping 2067 thumbs up in the last edition of the daily update, so let's see if we can do it again with 1,500 thumbs up on this video. I've got an awesome show for you today, so let's get right into our first story. This one comes from a Reddit user named Crazy Kieran on the God Zombies subreddit who made a post with this title, Upgrade Buildables Without Completing the Easter Egg. And what he describes is a little glitch or trick, depending on your perspective, on how you can upgrade one of the wonder weapons from the map, either the Discord, Shredder, Head Cutter, and Face Melter, all those wonder weapon pistols, without getting the alien fuse that is dropped when you beat the alien boss. So essentially, getting the upgraded wonder pistols without completing the Easter Egg. The way you do this is with a fortune card called Super Minuteman. What it does is pack a punch the current gun you're holding, essentially this game's version of ephemeral enhancement, and what you have to do is use Super Minuteman as you're holding the Wonder Pistol, it'll be upgraded, you then place that pistol back on the cardboard cutout where you crafted it in the first place, then you wait for the timer on the Super Minuteman card to run out, and when it's run out you can pick up that Wonder Pistol once again and it will be permanently upgraded. I'm sure this will definitely help people that wanted to do high round attempts without having to complete a large portion of the easter egg first, and it's something you can try with your friends in a co-op game because as you know beating the aliens in co-op is very difficult. I don't even know if a four-person co-op game has been able to complete the easter egg as of yet but it's an awesome little trick thanks to Crazy Kieran on Reddit for pointing that out. Now moving on to our second story of the day guys and this is something that is pervasive throughout the YouTube community specifically here in Zombies as well. Articulating that issue is a huge Zombies YouTuber named Glitching Queen on Twitter where she said YouTube needs to fix their copyright rules. Big companies like Activision bully us and abuse this power badly. Guilty before proven innocent. For example, got a copyright strike from Activision on a video that had the word glitch in the title. The video was not about their game at all. This is something that I've seen from other Zombies YouTubers as well, where Activision seems to be targeting videos that do fall under fair use regulations, so it's essentially maliciously copyrighted content that they do not own the rights to. Hopefully sooner or later they'll realize that YouTube is their primary marketing apparatus considering the pitiful job their department did on the lead up to Infinite Warfare. Hopefully Glitch and Queen gets those strikes removed soon. I think they took down two of her recent videos, so that just sucks. But moving on to our third story of the day, guys. We've been following the development of a Mob of the Dead remaster in Black Ops 3 for a while now. It's posted by Shifty Gamer 101 on his YouTube page where he added the cafeteria section of the map as well as the mystery box. Checking out some of the gameplay. It looks freaking awesome. To see the progress on the map over the last month has been incredible. And hopefully at this rate of progress, we might even be able to play the map fairly soon. You can check out the full video and it really gives you an insight on how these custom maps are created down in the description of this video. Well that wraps up the news today guys. I want to thank you so much for watching. Be sure to hit that thumbs up button down below. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Over 11,000 Americans voted for Harambe yesterday so while the hype for the meme may have died down it has not been forgotten. I want to thank you again for watching and I'll see you with another Zombies News Update tomorrow. Hey!